hi guys this is tech howdy i welcome you to another video tutorial where we are building this cms application with asp.net core and angular 10 in the last video tutorial we installed font awesome library and we used it in the admin panel we created an admin.js file inside the root folder and we also have an admin.css file where we have applied some custom styling now in the previous video tutorial i specified while referencing the admin.css file in this partial view that we have not yet minified this file therefore we cannot reference this file in the non-development version of the project in this video tutorial what we will learn is how to minify or bundle our static files which is the css and the uh, javascript files in our project and how to use them so first to minify these files or to bundle these files uh, we need to add a package so let's right click on our projects new get package folder and go to manage NuGet packages here you will search for a package called as build bundler minifier so I'll provide the name of the package in the video description it's called as build bundler minifier also this package is open source so you can see the code available in their github repository uh, it's bundler minifier and you can find it over here I will provide the link in the video description for those who want access to it so now if I go back to the project I will select build bundler minifier and I will add the latest stable version in my project so the package is being installed so once the package is installed the next thing that we need to do inside our project we need to add a file called a called as bundle config.json so that we can add the config settings so to add this bundle config.json file I'm going to go to the project right click on the project and then go to add new file go to web select empty json file call this file as bundle config make sure you do not provide any other name it has to be called as bundle config so hit new in the bundle config.json file first thing I will do is get rid of this curly braces and switch them to square brackets the reason I do this is because I need to add multiple files that I need to be converted into minified version so whereas in the github source you can convert all your files into one file called as bundle.cs or main.cs whatever you want to call it if you follow this particular settings and you do it but in my case I want to uh, have different versions of minified files in this project for admin for user and so on because I don't want to render everything on one page so in that case what I'm going to do first thing is replace this with square brackets and here we will specify all our settings for individual files or for multiple files so now the next thing I will do I will add the setting for the admin.css file I want the file to be minified and called as admin.min.css I want the file to be stored in the same folder where the admin.css file is uh, located so admin so you will use the key called as output file name to specify the name of the file that needs to be created after it has been minified we will use the input files key and inside the input files key array we will specify all the files that need to be minified and converted to admin.min.css so if you have let's say multiple files like this where you have created admin.css admin2.css admin3.css and so on all these files will be minified and converted to admin.min.css so that's it for the css setting now we also need to minify the admin.js file that we have in our project so to do that i will just copy this object paste it here again and here the next thing that i want to do is just change this to admin.min.js and this css folder i'll change it to js same i do over here and now these two files have been specified in the setting that once they are converted 
or minified they should be called as so now the next thing that i want to do is i want to set the source map settings to false if i go back to the github repository and if you will see here there is a setting to set the source map as false so here we are uh, been said that while bundling the js files the package will create a source map file and a map dot with an extension called as dot map and if you don't want this dot map file to be created you need to specify that in your settings so by default the setting is true so i'm going to change it to false because i don't want the source map file so let me go ahead to the code here and for the js files i'm going to set the source map to false so here for the js files it will no longer create any source map uh, files when it's being bundled now you might be wondering that there are some additional settings in this page that i have not used like minify enable to true these are default settings so if you don't add these settings this remains the same only if you want to change them you can add them but if you, if you don't add them the bundling will still take place because these are the default settings in your bundling file or bundle config.json file now let's go back uh, to the project and now let's build this project when we build this project you will notice that inside the custom folder where we have the js and the uh, admin js and the admin.css file you will see a drop down kind of icon being created there and an additional file will be added called as min.css and admin.min.js so let's first uh, build this and pay attention to the admin folder and the CSS and CC as you can see that there is a drop down icon created we have a min.css and an admin.js file here so if you open this js file so the contents of the .js file have now been minified to admin.min.js and you have the minified version available so we can now go to app application header styles and the ui partial over here here we can copy this paste it over here under custom js and we can change this to admin.min.js because now we have the minified version of the file for the same thing we can do for the css file so we can copy this link here and we can place it over here as admin.min.css now we have referenced the minified version of the files in the non-development version of our project so which can be used in production or any other environment that you have now there's one thing that i have noticed while using visual studio for mac it is a bug and visual studio is not the same as visual studio for windows so uh, it's an open source uh, id that we are using but if you open the admin.css file you might notice that the file is blank and you might be wondering oh my uh, admin.css file contains a uh, css code but why my admin.min.css file is blank so if you carefully look at the uh, scroll bar here you have a scroll bar which is like kind of indicating that there is something in your file but if you go to the uh, changes and look at the changes option you will see that there is code in your file but you cannot actually uh, see that code and that's a kind of a bug that i have seen in this uh, visual studio ide for mac so i i thought that might be a problem with the package but there's no problem with the bundle package that we are using if you go to the bootstrap folder css and bootstrap min.css file if you open the file you will notice that you might not see anything in the bootstrap.min.css file but there is no problem with the bootstrap min.css file in this project so here i can see bootstrap.min.css file open but i cannot see the code but i know there is code in this file and you can see this scroll bar here which is kind of indicating that there is a lot of code here which we cannot see basically the code appears transparent if i close this project for now and try to open this project using the other uh, 
ID that I I usually use, but it's it's not free. It's called Rider. So if I just right click on it, open it with Rider. Uh, when I try to access the same file in Rider, I will see that the file has uh, the minified version visible. So if I go to the root folder, the lib, the custom folder, the CSS folder, admin, and here I try to open this. Here you can see that I can see the minified version of my CSS file. So definitely there is a problem with this uh, Visual Studio 2019 for Mac. Uh, Microsoft, if you are seeing this video, please can you fix it? Because we like to use Visual Studio for Mac, it's open source, but I don't know if there is some settings that I need to change, but if it would be helpful if you can fix this but anyways we have access to the regular css file so if in case we do any changes we can check the css file and if you want to have access or look at the contents of the min.css file you can use visual studio code as well so this should be it for this video tutorial i have shown you how you can bundle and minify your files how you can reference them in your projects and if you have any other questions please do uh, let me know via comment section and I'll be happy to assist you. Thank you once again and have a wonderful day. Please like and subscribe my channel Tech Howdy.